Hi guys, this is Ratchet's Raw. And we are playing Criminal Case Conspiracy. And we are going to get some 41. We we now gonna investigate who are the current members of Adastra. Happy Halloween, Katrina. I asked if you have plans tonight, but I know you're on duty with me. Oh, it's Halloween. Huh. Yeah, I have nothing to put on, so. Speaking of monsters, we came to Grisbury University to dig up the skeletons in our set of peers fast. And boy, did we find some. It turns out Rosetta created an elite secret society called Ad Astra when she was a student. Ad Astra members believe they are superior to the sheeple, the rest of us. That's why Rosetta and her dream life videos made the mind altering drugs on the dome so it'd be easy to rule over the sheep. I like to see them rule over me, but you gotta wonder if the new generation of Astra has similar ambitions. Jones? What on earth are you wearing, Jones? Oh, this old sailor suit? Don't you think it's perfect for a night of Halloween fun? Can't believe it still fits me. Well, it's not scary, but it's your choice. Well, Jones, I doubt any beast you run into will be as ghoulish as. Your Halloween fun will have to wait, Katrina. Rita, you got a knife in your head! Never mind my costume. Someone just reported a disturbance at the house party on Blackfriar Lane. The place belongs to a Gregory Lynn. Oh, we met him already. What's that, Katrina? Lynn's the economics teaching assistant you met when you were investigating the Modo Frenet Narciss. You better check out what's going on at his party. Okay. Halloween party. Heh, <laughs> the case is called Trick or Treat. Alright, let's see what happened at the Halloween party. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on. Oh, it's him. How the heck did he die? What? The guy on the couch has been slashed from shoulder to hip. God, his guts are spilling out. Sorry, I need a moment to compose myself. Wait, Katarina, you're saying this guy is Gregory Lynn, the host? Looks like the body ended early for him. Perhaps we have someone in those broken metal pieces will tell us what happened. And his keychain you picked out has victim's his name on it. But the rest of what's written on it is faded. Let's recover it. Katria, we got a Halloween butter on our hands and we'd better sword before the clock strikes midnight. Or the vampire will come. <laughs> let's first let's sort this metal pieces. Oh, it's like a warning Halloween party is on. With a Ghostbusters sign. <laughs> Katria, this is a neighborhood watch site. It seems our way to live on a street where citizens like to keep an eye on each other. It says, this Halloween, no throwing eggs, no scary costumes, no loud music. The person who made this sounds like a real party pooper. Oh wait, we know him! Kevin Charles is a philosophy professor who mixed up in the Ad Astra business. Ah, you! You like to party, huh? Charles is Rosetta's old mentor. It was his theory about some people being superior to others that inspired her sheeple ideology. Professor claims to have nothing to do with that Astra anymore. But even if that's true, he seems to have got himself mixed up in another murder. Let's talk to him. Yeah, I don't like you, dude. And if you so hated uh, this party, then... I think he would have a motive to kill. Our victim.
Oh, this is some love pendant. Clear, the names Polly and Greg are ingrained on this keychain, with a heart in between. This Polly must be the victim's girlfriend, which means she's probably at his party and must have already heard the bad news. We better see the poor girl can reveal AD reported about the victim. Okay. Alright, let's go first talk to our philosophy professor. Mage Katria, if you're here to interrogate with me again about Adastra, I have nothing more to say. We're here about another murder investigation. Mr. Charles, we're actually here about your neighbor who. You mean that blasted Gregory Lane and his Kako Fodus rivalry? You know, I was just making my evening bowl of porridge and it curled thanks to all that, all that ruckus. At least he's not only provided ample material for my next book, The Future of Millennial. Dude, what are you talking about? Are you pretending to be smart? You are already enough smart, you don't have to show it. Well, your young neighbor won't be bothering you anymore because he's been murdered. Gregory is dead? Yes, and as part of the neighborhood watch, did you notice anything suspicious this evening? As Socrates said, I know nothing except the fact of my ignorance. I'm sorry, Mr. Lin's been murdered, but I must say I'll cherish the peace and quiet. I don't like him, no. Okay, let's go now talk to Polly. Oh, you wear a little red riding hood. Um, Mr. O'Brien, we rescued the murder of Gregory Lynn. We believe you were close. Greg was the love of my life. Mr. O'Brien, we're going to catch your boyfriend's killer. And you can help by telling us everything you know about him. Oh, Greg was just the sweetest guy. And so clever. He didn't even help me with my international relations assignments. Something he'd never studied. I always wonder what he saw in little old me. And just look at how many people came to his party. He was so popular. But none of them saw him being murdered. Well, the party moved into Greg's bedroom when it got colder, and the music was so loud that no one heard my poor baby scream. So, tonight's Halloween celebrations were also taking place in Mr. Lynn's bedroom. Then it's our next port of call, Katria. Okay, so nobody noticed that that he was murdered. Was it one of the party members or was it or was it someone outside party who killed him? Maybe they were they were, after they were all moving inside the house then Gregory was the last one to go inside but he was caught by the killer and he got killed. Yeesh, Katria. I thought Carter was messy, but this room is a garbage heap. Well, it is a garbage because there was a party, so... Luckily, you still managed to find Gregory Lynn's laptop. Let's unlock it. And if you think this box of CDs is worth rummaging through, go for it. Okay. Okay, first let's unlock his laptop. Okay, it's unlocked. Let's get let's get the victim's laptop straight to our favorite tech expert, Katria. And who is our favorite tech expert? Uh, Kathy or Alex? Well, we're gonna send it to Kathy anyway, so... To Kathy, alright. <laughs> okay, now let's search through this box. Oh, you have vinyls. Okay. Halloween mix, huh, <laughs> nice. 
Kaboom! Halloween mix, Halloween mix. Okay, so it was all all for the party. So, okay, I see. It's uh. Okay, that's Gregory. And who's the other guy? There was a photo of the victim in that box of CDs, Katrina. Gregory is wearing the same wolf costume that we found him in, which means this picture must be taken at tonight's party. Let's let's find the guy next to him using our database. Okay, what's he supposed to be? Robin Hood? Hm. Or am I seeing angel wings behind him? Oh no, he's an elf. Oh, I get it. He's supposed to be Legolas, but with brown hair. Katria, a young man in the photo with the victim is Adrian, his 18-year-old brother. Oh. We should have a word with the poor boy about his brother's death. Oh. Legolas. <laughs> This drink's for you, oh brother. Adrian Lynn? We are... OMG, the police! Officers, there's no alcohol in my course reviver cocktail, I swear. You're 18, you can drink alcohol, so... Mr. Lynn, we're not here about underage drinking. I wanna talk to you about your brother. I was literally just talking to Greg before he stepped out for a smoke. I got murdered. How could this have happened? That's what we are trying to find out. Mr. Lin, did you know this idiot at the party that could help us catch your brother's killer? Uh, to be honest, I was hoping these university students wouldn't notice a high school kid like me. So I just hid up here and didn't see or hear much. I guess I better call my parents and tell them Greg's dead. I can't believe it. Okay, he's sad. So far everybody is sad. But he's dead. Let's now see what happened to Gregory. Ah, you put us on Halloween costume as well. Ah, oh, you're supposed to be Catwoman, right? Katrina, thanks for my gory Halloween treat. I doubt our victim feels the same, Martine. Yes, he probably didn't enjoy being sliced and gutted to death. For examining Gregory Lynn's wounds, I believe the girl used a sighty to split his torso apart. Quite ass, seeing his weapon carried by the Green Reaper. So what, you tell me that uh, somebody came in as a as Green Reaper? Huh? The cut was surprisingly clean, as though the victim was as easy to slice through as soft butter. This shows that the girl had sharpened their sight extremely well. So the butter was premeditated. Marty, did you find anything else to help us pin down the killer? Yes. I found a weird heart-shaped piece of wood stuffed in the victim's mouth. I showed it to Gabriel. Turns out it's a planchetti, part of a spirit board. Oh. A spirit board? Isn't that the thing people use to talk to the dead? Exactly. Which means you kill it into this summoning bumper jumbo. Well, the only thing the killer will be summoning is the judge for a lenient sentence. Yeah, the only letters you will see is J U D G E. Judge. <laughs> oh my gosh, you dressed Sammy as pumpkin. <laughs> and you also, you also put up some makeup. You two look beautiful. Katrina, it's Sammy's first Halloween. Does he look adorable as a pumpkin? Oh, he looks adorable. Just good enough to eat, Catty. Before you take the little bug trick or treating, can you tell us about our latest victim's laptop? Well, mostly I found academic research notes on economics, which makes sense seeing the way to work in this field. But then I noticed his thread that profile was still open, and that he put up a public invite to his Halloween party tonight. And there was something very disturbing about one of the replies to his advice from someone called Woodface Horror Show. 
clearly have pseudonym. The message included a picture of the Grim Reaper and said, Greg, you're gonna be gutted tonight. A message about being gutted? And showing the Grim Reaper? Knowing how our victim died, this killer must have written this thread that post. Kathy, could you find any more information from their profile? Well, since friend had opted security settings, I can no longer hand the to accounts that have high privacy protection. But then my Alex spotted something. It's a name they use. Moonface Horror Show is a character in A Wind of Satsuba, one of Alex's favorite movies. So, well, Murder the Victim is also a fan. Well, Larkin won't have much time to watch movies when you throw them in jail, Katria. Wind up Satsuba. What? Okay, that's clearly somebody who's a fan of horror. We, I mean, we have, we have Spirit Board and we got some scary movie, right? It looks like it. Well, Katria, this Halloween's been more trick than treat so far. We got called out to a student house party only to find a hose with his torso slide through with a sight. Gregory Lynn's brother and girlfriend both seemed distraught about his murder. But with his neighbor, Kevin Charles seemed miffed about his noisy parting parting disturbing of peace. Could Charles have gone as far as to Mage Katrina, I got something important to tell you. What is it, Officer Locus? I just put a saw running away from the party. Oh, nobody's allowed to go out because all of you guys are suspects since since the killer attended the party, so it's one of you. Alright, you guys start here, you gotta continue playing in chapter two. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!